What up, y'all? It's your boy Scoob, and welcome to Spotters Diecast. So, um, I got a nice little package in today. You know, a nice little box of goodies. So, I got actually got four cars in here, but you know, one of these. Um, let me uh, give me one second. I had to buy another one of these since you know. Um, there was a little defect in my other one, you know, this Mercedes Benz, uh, SL 500 Koenig specials, but today, um, we're going to, we're going to feature this baby, this, um, 1972 Di Tommaso Pantera in black from Para 64. So, um. We're not going to do all of these cars in one in one video. I'm going to break them down into three different parts. Let me get my screwdriver real quick. And I'm back. So, uh, let's get this plastic off. And then I'll get to you very shortly. Mm, look at that. It's got the nice little Pantera in the background. Pretty nice. So, uh, let's get to cracking. Take these stickers off. Give me one second, y'all. And there we have it right there. Um, nice little black Pantera. This is pretty sweet. I always say that about every car. Yeah, it's a little dusty. But you know, it's all good. I guess that's just the paint right there. Yeah, it is what it is. But yeah. Let's give this a little bit more light. Uh, smacking my, my camera around. Yeah. Let's get that. All right. Uh, I apologize about that weight. Uh, like I've been saying, my camera has been acting up. Oh, that's that's why um, I hadn't turned my main light on. Yeah. So that ought to fix that. And it has. Well, for the most part, anyway. Hmm. Says right here on this thing, this thingamajig is the 1972 Di Tommaso Pantera. Alrighty, uh, let's take this off the the thing. There we go. Um, yeah, let's turn this thing on to this turntable. All right, yeah. Uh, since I already got the yellow one, but that's just an all plain yellow. It don't have the uh, the gra the side graphics on there on the yellow one. But uh, since uh, this black one, you know, I saw that this black one was available. Uh, I went ahead and bought it. You know, um, if you're new to my channel, you know, the, the supercars are my thing. The classic Italian supercars are especially my thing. So, yeah, I had to have this one. 
a must have definitely let's check out the details there's the front with the headlights they don't go up but you know this little I think that those are separate pieces and then we got the little turn signals and everything nice little grill under there and then for the rear you know you got the you got some nice tail lights uh, that D Tomasa right there that looks a little crooked I don't know if it's spoke yeah. but that's cool um, cool exhaust though and those are pretty nice. Oh, and we got a little license plate right there. That's pretty cool. What is it? Ain't that like the Peterson uh, Museum out there in L.A.? Yeah, that is. Cause my yellow one had that too. Hmm, pretty cool. So yeah, on the side is just your D Tommaso Pantera GTS. Really like it in this black, by the way. And look at this, man! It rolls. Probably not one hundred percent, but you know. It catches a little uh, under the fenders, but yeah, it rolls. Yeah, my yellow one, um, the rear wheels roll pretty good, but the front wheels, you know, they're like um, they're like on uh, perpetual brakes. I I'll, I'll just put it that way, but yeah, this thing is pretty nice. There's just something on my fenders right there. Hopefully that's not a paint chip. Okay, yeah, that was just glue. Yeah, that can come off. Yeah. My paint underneath is okay. So yeah. Uh, that was a close one. Uh, this this thing it ain't exactly cheap even though it wasn't that expensive but yeah you'd still hate to have something uh, to go wrong with this with your uh, collector grade die cast but thankfully um, disaster has been avoided so anyway um, I just wanted this to be a little quickie uh, showing off my Paris 64 Showing that it's available. There's the bottom if you're interested. So yeah. This thing is really nice. So anyway. I want to thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will be making videos. Of my other. Uh, grabs. Uh, pretty shortly. So stay tuned for that. And make sure you subscribe if you know you're interested in my content. You know, look around, you know. Look around for more of my videos. And then binge watch a few to make your decision a little just that much easier to subscribe. At least leave a like uh, so it can get out there to other people looking for quality diecast content. So, I'm going to get my butt on out of here because it's hot as hell in here. So, anyway, uh, I'll see y'all later and have a good one.